Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we have another book to read for you. Today's book is Wide Water Gonzo from 1991. So let's get started. Ah, chew, ah, chew, sneezed Gonzo. That sounds like a cold, said Nandy, handing him a tissue. I'm afraid that means a day in bed. But I don't want to stay in bed all day, sniffed Gonzo. It's boring. It doesn't have to be, said Nandy. Here, you can look through this adventure magazine. Oh, Nandy grumbled. Gonzo, I don't want to look at people, a uh, picture of other people, adventures, when I can't have any myself. Danny smiled and went to the cupboard. She took out the paste and the safety scissors and some photographs of Gonzo's. Why don't you cut up these snapshots and then paste the pictures of yourself into the magazine? She said, then you can be ten. it's you in the magazine having the adventures. Gondo signed unhap unhappily, and Nandy left the room. But then he smiled when he opened the magazine and saw a picture of cowboys riding a great big white horse. Boy, said Gondo, wouldn't I love to be that cowboy? So he be so he pasted a picture of himself over the picture of the cowboy, and when he finished, it really did look like it was Gonzo on the back of the horse. He was just about to turn the page when suddenly, his bed began to launch and bounce. It started it started Gonzo, so much that his arm flew up in the air. When he looked up, he saw his hand wasn't holding a magazine anymore. It was holding a 10-gallon cowboy hat. When he looked down, he saw that he was on the back of a real-life horse and was bucking. Gondo pushed the hat down on his head and hung on to the saddle. The horse was bouncing and lurching, and Gondo was loving every minute of it. It was better than a roller coaster. He hopped but he hoped the ride would go on and on. But then the horse gave a final bounce, and the cowboy Gonzo was flying out of the saddle. He squeezed his eyes shut, expecting to land on the hard and dusty ground. But instead, he landed with a nice soft thump right back in his own bed. That was great, he said. Now what's next? He flipped through the magazine until he saw a picture of some people parachuting out of a plane. As soon as he paced a picture of himself beneath one of the parachuters, he began swaying gently back and forth. He looked up and saw that he was dangling from a red silk parachute. It gave him a delicious and mysterious feeling in his stomach. And when his feet finally touched the ground, the huge parachute collapsed around him like a big silk tent. Gondo peeked out from beneath the parachute and discovered that, once again, he was back in his own bed. He peered out from, a, from underneath the quilt into Kermit Carrier's face. Jeez, Gonzo, said Kermit. What are you doing? Oh, Kermit, exclaimed Gonzo. I've been having the most wonderful adventures. Gosh, said Kermit, and I thought you were just having a cold. So that was The Wide Ward of Gonzo from 1991. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.